Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we are super excited to be working with Micro Center and USA Cares on this wonderful, super high-end gaming PC that we'll be giving to them and then they will be raffling off. This PC features the hard to get RTX 3080 and a Ryzen 7 5800X, making for a super high-end gaming PC that, yeah, once again, we're excited to give away to USA Cares to raffle off. Stay tuned to later on in today's video to learn how you can enter the raffle. But yeah, what we're going to do is dive into building this PC, but Micro Center was the sponsor of this build. They're nice enough to send over all the stuff we have here. Well, actually, we went and bought most of the stuff in their store up in Ohio. And then they decided to send the graphics card to us, that precious RTX 3080. Big thanks to my Micro Center for sponsoring this build. They're an awesome place to go in person to buy PC hardware, and they're always running some sort of promo, which we'll leave links in the description down below for if you want to pick them up. And uh, yeah, Micro Center is cool. They're awesome. Go take a look at them. We'll just talk about each part and how it makes up this PC build. For the CPU, we have this Ryzen 7 5800X, which is an eight core, 16 thread processor. One of the strongest AMD processors on the market right now, which, hey, hopefully 6,000 is out soon enough, but we're super excited to be using this. And then we have a liquid cooler for it, of course, because we normally forget this part. But I'm surprised you remembered. Yeah, no, I did. We have the MSI Mag Core, Core Liquid. I thought it said Corelicious at first. <laughs> it's Corelicious. Core Liquid C240. Uh, I've actually not seen this one with this block before. Just when we were up at Micro Center, they suggested that we try this one out. So we we're like, hey, why not? It looks pretty cool. Now for the motherboard to match that MSI cooler, of course, we have the MPG X570 Gaming Edge Wi Fi. So this has Bluetooth and Wi Fi built in, latest and greatest. It is 5000 series ready, and it's a full size board that's going to go inside of our full size case. So it's going to look really good. Now, this stuff's a little bit of a commodity right now. This is DDR4, and it is also 3600 megahertz. This is the Trident Z Neo, which is especially good for AMD, especially the Ryzen to go overclocked and everything. 32 gigs, it's two sticks, and RGB, 3600 megahertz, what more could you ask for? Now we had this nice X570, we have a nice Ryzen 5000 series, we have the nice RAM, of course we had to go with the Gen 4 SSD. Micro Center actually carries an inland uh, SSD that's Gen 4 that actually has a built-in heatsink and everything, and uh, super fast write speeds. I mean, read speed of 7,000 megabytes per second, write speed of 5,500 megabytes per second. You're not even gonna have anything that can keep up with this. Now this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is probably the most expensive part of this build. Well, it is the most expensive part of this build. This is the ROG Strix Gaming RTX 3080. The RTX 3080 is an absolute awesome card, and this is a three-fan version with a bunch of RGB, very good engineering, as you can see right here. But regardless, it's an RTX 3080, and well, we're very excited to be able to use it for this build because they are very hard to come by. Now for the power supply that we could not find for a second, this is the EVGA 750 GT 80 Plus Gold, very high-end power supply. 750 watts is enough for this PC build, but if you want a little more headroom, you could go 850,000 if you really wanted to, but for the build that is pretty power efficient with that 5800X, 750 watts will work perfectly fine. EVJ makes some high quality power supplies. And to improve those cables, we got some sleep cables. These are black and white sleep cables. You don't necessarily need these for your PC build, but they do add a little extra touch of cleanliness Cleanliness, it's not really much of a word. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. And last but certainly not least is two things over here. We have the Fractal Design Meshify C, which we have not built in here on the channel, but it is a very, very popular case with very good airflow. And we're gonna be filling this thing up with some RGB. We got this single fan and this five pack of fans. So we got six fans here with the RGB that I think we're taking off of this cooler. I'm not totally sure what the plan was originally, but we're gonna make it work, but uh, yeah. RGB fans, awesome case, awesome build. Let's put it together. Thanks, Microsoft.
Alright guys, now that we have this super high-end gaming PC all booted up and ready to go, let's talk about a couple benchmarks real quick. Now we side this PC in a couple of titles, those being Halo Infinite, Apex Legends, Call of Duty Warzone, and Shadow the Tomb Raider, all at 4K. First up with Halo Infinite at 4K on high settings, we average about 70-ish FPS. The RTX 3080 is absolutely great for 60 plus FPS 4K gaming, and in some esports titles you can crank way above 144 FPS, making it great for those stupid high-end 4K 144Hz monitors that you can pick up for an RTX 3080 to have a really awesome gaming experience. Do keep in mind some of the benchmarks you're seeing right here were recorded a few weeks ago. We have been waiting to post this video and the benchmarks have just kind of been sitting until we were ready to actually post it. So some performance numbers may vary and there may be some increases in performance when uh, updates have been applied since we've last run the benchmark. So just keep that in mind. Next up in Apex Legends at 4K on high settings with the frame rate limit locked we accidentally didn't unlock it so this is what we got we actually got about 144 fps but there were some dips down to about 140 to 139 here and there overall it was a very playable experience you are running on pretty much max settings at 4k could lower the settings a little bit to get a locked 144 but in an arenas mode it worked pretty well and i would say any esports title like apex legends fortnite valorant rainbow six siege will have no problems getting well over 100 plus fps at 4k and if you wanted to go down to a 1080p 360 hertz monitor which is what a lot of people like to do that Ryzen 7 5800X would easily be adequate enough to push those kind of frame rates in esports titles. Next up in Warzone at 4K on high settings, we averaged again 100 plus FPS with a few dips down to 70 and 80 when we're in more demanding parts of the map. Once again, this is a test that was actually filmed a couple weeks ago, so Warzone obviously does a lot of updates, so the performance numbers may be better in the uh, current time of playing Warzone with an RTX 3080, but still at 4K getting 100 plus FPS very playable experience overall and I think the Ryzen 7 5800X is a very sneaky good value option for the RTX 3080. Yes there is the 12900K, 12700K, 12th gen Intel but that stuff's very expensive paying for DDR5 it's kind of a mess right now. Going with the 5800X and its 8 cores and 16 threads just works very well with an RTX 3080 and in terms of value for money it, I think it might be one of the best plays in the market right now. And the last game we decided to test was Shadow of the Tomb Raider with the built-in benchmark on high settings at 1080p and we ended up averaging 130 FPS. Overall, this is an awesome PC and we're very excited that Micro Center allowed us to build an awesome computer like this, go in person to their awesome store and have a PC that we can give to USA Cares for a great cause. So if you guys are interested in joining the raffle, we'll talk more about it here in the outro in a second, but definitely check the link in the description down below and also check the links in the description down below for all the links to all the PC parts that we use in today's video so you, you can go pick it up and store at Micro Center or order online. So now that we finished the benchmarking section of today's video, how to bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we got this PC built and finally ready to give to USA Cares, and it performs absolutely amazing. I mean, what more could you really ask for with a PC this expensive? Now, if you want to enter to win this PC, it is a paid raffle for a great cause through USA Cares. It's gonna be starting on February 3rd. We're gonna to try to leave links in the description down below for you guys to sign up for the raffle. There will be a live stream event that you guys can watch that we will be on, so if you guys wanna see us over there, definitely join the live stream event. But yeah, it's for a good cause, and we're very happy that Micro Center was nice enough to let us go in person to pick out some parts and also send that 3080 for a really awesome PC that we can raffle off for a very good cause. And I keep saying very good cause because you know what? It's a very good, very cause. good cause. It's a great cause. And if you want to buy any of this stuff in person, make sure you go to a micro center near you because hey, they probably have all of this stuff in stock. You're not gonna have to wait and I could pay those scalper prices. You can just go pick it up, no hassle. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Peace out. And hey, there only is one PC to give away, and there's gonna be a lot of people that are left, well, gaming computerless. So don't forget you can go check out our PC selling business. PC Bros. Tech is where we sell awesome gaming PCs, laptops, and a bunch of other tech stuff. So come in person to our store in Louisville, Kentucky, or go to our website, PCBros.tech. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.